What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today we have another exciting unboxing to dig into for you guys. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it, everyone. It really helps get these videos pushed out there to more people. And feel free to let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So we have a knife coming in from Vostid here. Huge shout out to them for sending this over for us to take a look at. Uh, this is a model that I've checked out before, but this is a version that I haven't checked out because it is brand new. And we're not going to show you the sticker because we're gonna keep it a little surprise. We have a sticker there, paperwork, micro uh, microfiber cloth is going to be inside along with a removable patch here, which is really nice. And then we have our knife inside a cellophane baggie here. And this is going to be the surprise, surprise, the new Corgi that they are offering. But this is going to have the sheep's foot blade. The original Corgi had a spear point, drop point style of blade, and it was really good. Uh, it was something I didn't think would be quite my style, but uh, I really learned to like that knife. Uh, it's got very simple deployments with the front and rear flipper. Uh, but in the case of this one here, this sheep's foot blade is going to be fantastic for my purposes. Uh, I'm definitely more into sheep's foot and worn cliff blades more now than ever don't get me wrong i still love drop points i still love tantos and clip points but uh, i've really kind of went more towards the sheep's foot worn cliff end of things they're just very 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 functional and they do a lot of things very well there's definitely you know if i had the picture perfect carry for you guys, it would be carry a knife that's either a sheep's foot and a worn cliff, one of the two, and then carry a tanto or a drop point as a secondary or vice versa, something like that. And then at that point, you can cover a wide array of different scenarios. Uh, this has a very nice satin finish to it. It has a little upsweep belly. We're going to be getting 14C28N. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. Maybe a little hinty hint there, 14C, uh, which is beautiful. I love that they're using 14C now. Uh, they, you know, their bread and butter was uh, 154. But if you asked me, uh, nowadays, I will take the 14C over the 154. Yes, I did smash my finger, if anybody's wondering. It's finally starting to heal up after about two weeks. Uh, that's why I've been wearing the Band-Aid, and then I got it smashed again a few days afterwards, so it's taken a really long time, but it's finally healed up. Uh, anyway, this is going to have very similar action to the Corgi I've checked out before. Very snappy with that rear flipper, and then the front flipper works equally very good on these knives. The way that it's done, uh, if you're not familiar, when a flipper tab, whether it's the front or the rear flipper, when it's above the pivot, even just a little bit, you can get a lot more on that flipper than if it was equal to or under. So in the case of these, these are way above the pivot. So you can get a ton of leverage on those flipper tabs and it just makes for a very satisfying open. And you know, these may not be, or this style of front flipper may not be the best for someone who is new to front flipping. Uh, I still don't find it difficult whatsoever. Now I've been around them for a long time, uh, but I, I don't find it difficult at all to front flip it, but it might not be the easiest style to learn on. We just did a video on that a few days ago. If you're interested in front flippers and seeing what kind of design really thrives with the front flipper and the best way to do so, go check that video out. 
So we are going to have a standard Vosteed clip here, which means it's a little more lower mounted. Uh, you'll have a tiny bit poking out of the pocket there. No big deal at all. Just a, enough there to get a nice surface grip and pull this out of the pocket. It's going to be uh, Vosteed standard clip here. And then it is recessed along with the screws. We also have the ability to mount this for left hand carry and they include a filler tab. Beautiful job from Vosteed. Very simple construction on this thing. The micarta is very, very nice. Uh, blue micarta, like a blue jean my, micarta. And it's some very nice looking stuff. I love this knife because it's got some subtle design cues that I don't know uh, if was intentional or not, especially with the original design. But everything is centered. And the original design being that more spear point, drop point style of blade. And this is pretty close as well. But everything was literally in a straight line on both sides. Uh, and it was just a really cool design cue uh, from Vosti. Just a, you know, I don't know, just something really cool. I thought was kind of unique. It's not something you typically see, you know, the button in line with the pivot and all the hardware and the pocket clip, uh, everything being in line. I just thought it was pretty cool. This is a very sleek and slim knife. You're not going to have anything. None of the blade will be poking out. You don't have any flipper uh, thumb studs sticking out or anything like that. It's going to be completely housed within the handle. And then, of course, you do have your front and rear flipper tabs up top, but they are not going to be sticking out. They are just going to be basically straight up and over. And they just work really well, guys, uh, for both of them. Surprisingly really good. You might look at this knife and say... You know, that doesn't look like it's going to open very easily or it doesn't look like it'll be a very fun knife to open, but you would be absolutely wrong. And, you know, I had similar thoughts before checking out the first Corgi, but it is surprisingly really, really good, really fun, really satisfying, and very easy to manipulate this thing all over the place and then of course you can use the button if that is your cup of tea i know a lot of people actually use the button of a button lock to open the knife it's not something i typically do but the more and more comments that i get from more and more people i realize that a lot of people use the button to open the knife which is very easy and very intu intuitive to do so you know, no big deal there, but uh, I didn't realize how many people quite used the button to open it up. Uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool, but there's plenty of ways to open this guy up. Let's see what kind of edge came on this 14C here. We'll also take a little closer look at this guy. But let's see, uh, <clears throat> let's see if Vosteed can continue their streak of just beautiful edges and it looks like they will uh i have checked out a lot of vosteeds i've bought a lot of vosteeds and uh, had quite a few sent in at this point and they just come razor sharp guys one of the sharpest knives ever out of box that i've handled was the rs chaos and it still sticks out in my mind as one of the sharpest knives, LMAX, beautiful uh, Warren Cliff style blade, and it was just razor sharp out of the box and has held that edge very well uh, under some very hard use in certain scenarios and has just done very well. So I've been thoroughly impressed with Vosteed's LMAX, with Vosteed's uh 154 and their 14c i'm in the midst of finding out about their s35 but i believe that'll do just fine as well everything i've heard and seen it will do very well one big question will be how is that lock holding up and well we're going to find out uh this thing was perfectly centered there's not much room for air uh on this guy it has to be pretty much centered 
Uh, so that is good. As far as any pivot lash, there is none. As far as any rock or play within that blade when it is opened and locked out, there is no up and down and there is no side to side either. Uh, this is not going to be a standard plunge lock. This is going to be their Trek lock. Uh, so a little bit different than their standard plunge lock. Let's see uh, what we got. We'll start up here at the top. Move to the bottom there. Typically those quick little smacks, even though they're fairly light, will get the blade to pop if it's going to. Uh, we'll do one more for good measure. And that bad boy is locked up nice and solid. Great to see. Uh, I have not had a single issue from a Vostede knife since for about a year and a half. And that was a well-known problem uh, with the certain raccoon model, but has since been fixed, taken care of. Uh, you know, of course, there's been some varying issues along the way, but uh, nothing that really stands out as far as an issue in regards to the model itself. There are always going to be knives that slip through uh, the cracks, no matter what company, no matter what lock, there will always be slips uh, through. And that is just, you know, that's something, as long as the company has good customer service, you have nothing to fear. Uh, and in the case of Vostid, they have excellent customer service and they, they have a great all around company, in my opinion. I've been thoroughly impressed with what they have been doing. I've said that time and time again here lately, uh, just using different steels, doing different blade shapes, doing different locking mechanisms, different styles, uh, just they're all over the map when it comes to varying price points. I just love everything that they're doing. And if they continue doing what they are doing at this pace and at the quality at which they're doing it, uh, they are going to find themselves at the very top of the mountain with the best knife production in the world. They got, they, they, they're on their way. Uh, they got to keep it up. And I, I think that they will. Uh, they show a lot of promise very early on for a company that's fairly new. Uh, they show a lot of promise. I have been thoroughly impressed. Even their models that may not be, you know, my full cup of tea like the Corgi here. I know a lot of people love this knife and I have enjoyed both of the models that I've checked out. Uh, they, they're really good. So, I, and I know the Corgi is a very hot model for them for a plethora of different reasons, for a variety of different people. You'll have to let me know, are you one of those people that love the Corgi model? Uh, the Sheep's Foot one is definitely more up my alley. Still got that snappy action, uh, good solid springs in there, nice comfortable ergos. That's one thing we didn't touch on, but the ergos are going to be absolute money on this guy very neutral handle very comfortable in hand uh there's no doubt about it with this guy let me know what you guys think down in the comments i love hearing from you guys hit the thumbs up button i always appreciate that guys and if you're new here we release videos just like this one every single day hit that subscribe button ring the little bell i would love to have you here otherwise guys i will throw up a couple of new videos go check one of them out have yourself an awesome day thank you for watching I will catch you on the next one.